In 2011, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA established an inaugural Ahmadiyya Muslim Humanitarian Award to annually recognize the services and contributions of individuals who selflessly strive to assist oppressed and disadvantaged communities around the world. By giving a voice to the voiceless, these individuals honor fundamental and universal human rights guaranteed both in the Holy Quran and the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Past recipients of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Humanitarian Award include lawmakers, public servants, NGO leaders, charity workers, and academics. Some of the more recent recipients include Mike Honda, U.S. Congressman from California. I am honored to be here and accept this award in the true spirit of Islam and the spirit of peace. As was mentioned, I met His Holiness, Mirza Masrur Ahmad, and he has said, to achieve peace, we must embrace the ideas of loyalty and love for one's nation. We must embrace just relations between nations. And he said that we must embrace global unity. You will always have me as your partner. And I'm very honored to accept the 2015 Ahmadiyya Muslim Humanitarian Award. Together, I know we can continue to promote peace and understanding in this world, in this country, and among our own citizens. And we shall stand united with under the spirit of your slogan, again, love for all, hatred for none. Thank you, and peace be unto you. Bill Ayers, the co-founder of Why Hunger. And that means not just fighting hunger, but the root cause of hunger, which is poverty. And helping people to get power in their lives, especially against oppressive governments or people who are trying to oppress them for religious reasons, political reasons, whatever that may be. And we welcome all of you as partners. So work with your community-based organizations and help them to see that the answer to hunger is not simply feeding people, but helping people to get out of poverty and find their own power. Thank you. Katrina Lantos Sweat, chairperson of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. I can't tell you how honored and humbled really I am to receive that beautiful humanitarian award. It means a great deal to me. You remind us that we should strive to live in harmony with others and that when conflicts arise, they should be resolved whenever possible by the pen and not the sword. That freedoms are not privileges for rulers to bestow or withhold, but fundamental rights ordained by a just and merciful creator. And that no person or government can violate these rights without losing moral authority and legitimacy. As we recall these thoughts, let us continue to stand together for human rights and religious freedom as we affirm liberty as the birthright of all humanity. Thank you so much. And Robert George, chairperson of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom and a McCormick Professor of Jurisprudence at Princeton University. Unlike them, you believe, as I believe, that every member of the human family has equal and profound dignity, worth, and God-given rights, rights that no government, no human power on earth may legitimately take away. No human being gave us our rights. God alone gave us our rights. Only God has power over them. Any human being who violates that dishonors God. Unlike your persecutor's message of tyranny and hate, your message, your voice is a voice of reason and freedom. You advocate not only for yourselves, and your own rights and dignity, but for the rights and dignity of others. And so, my Ahmadiyya friends, my brothers and sisters, let us continue to stand together, to work together, to persevere in this struggle together. Let us offer ourselves as God's servants for freedom and dignity, for life and liberty, for humanity and decency. Thank you, my dear friends, and may God richly, richly, richly bless you. Other past recipients of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Humanitarian Award include 
Jackie Spear, U.S. Congresswoman from California, Virawit Tianchianan, Executive Director of the Thai Committee for Refugees Foundation, Nina Shea, Commissioner for the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom, Tina Ramirez, the Director of International and Government Relations at the Beckett Fund, Frank Wolf, U.S. Congressman from Virginia, and Andre Carson, the U.S. Congressman from Indiana. The annual award will be given at the premier event of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, the Jalsa Salana, or annual convention.